Hey guys, it's Dina here again with another review. Um, if you watch earlier in the week, I did upload this video earlier, and for some reason it was like it had um, upload problems. We were having bad storms coming through. So I just want to share these items with you, and there are actually a couple more items from the collection that I've picked up um, since the first video that I had made and I took down because it was just horrible. Um, so this is from the new Diamonds Collection from L'Oreal. It was just released within the past couple of weeks. Um, I found mine at Rite Aid. Um, they've got a few new nail polishes, some of their um, lip glosses, and two more infallible eyeshadows, which I was extremely excited about finding. So um, we'll just go over these really quickly. Um, the first thing that I got was one of their nail polishes. This is like a golden kind of pewter color. It's all glitter and it is super, super pretty. I actually have it on top of my polish. I uh, don't know how well it's going to show up here. But um, this is over top of a Zoya polish. It's just like a bright fuchsia pink. And then I put the glitter over top of it. So it is really sparkly, really pretty. Um, the color of this one is number 605 called Sparkalicious. But that is that one there. And they were um, buy one, get one half price at Rite Aid right now. Uh, the second one that I got um, is number 603. And this is called The Bigger the Better. And this is just a black, shiny um, base coat with silver glitter all running through it. So it's really, really sparkly. Um, very pretty. Like this a lot. They had another one that was a red that was glitter. But I have, you know, like ruby slippers and things like that from other brands so I just didn't see the point in purchasing that but I didn't have any like these two exactly so pick those up. Um, the next item that I got was the Voluminous Million, La Million Lashes Diamonds Mascara. Um, I've worn this a couple times and to be honest with you it clumps really bad on my lashes. It's got a um, glitter formula so if you can see in the light the glitter does show up and you can see it like if it's at nighttime or you're you know, looking at a light in front of you, you know, for whatever reason, I don't guess we all look at the light, but I do, <laughs> um, you can, you can see the glitter kind of reflecting off of your lashes. If you don't like things like that, that would be very distracting, this one would not be for you because it really does have glitter in it. I'm not sure how well this would be for contact lens wearers. I think that would be pretty horrible if it was to, you know, come off in your eye because I used to wear contacts and, oh, every little thing would bother my eyes, but um, I know a lot of people really like these formulas, so I'm not saying that this wouldn't be for everyone. It just doesn't work that great for me. The third thing that I picked up is one of their Le Gloss. It's Infallible Le Gloss. This is an eight-hour formula, so it says. Um, sorry. This is in the color number 464 Dazzle Me, and it's just a bright fuchsia um, with glitter sparkles in it. It's very, very fine. It's not gritty feeling at all. Um, I really love the color. The applicator is kind of like a little triangle shape with a hole in the center. Um, but this is what the color looks like applied to skin. So it is really pretty. I really like it. I'm not sure that it lasts eight hours unless you were just completely not moving your lips and were asleep. But it does stay on pretty good. So I really like that one. All right, and then for the most important part to me is the two new infallible eye shades. There were only two released for this collection. Um, the first one is called Blinged and Brilliant, and I will show you this one. And they have already been swatched because I did the other video, but this is what it looks like. It's a shimmery um, kind of golden. Um, it's like a champagne golden, I would say. Of course, these are going to be very shimmery as all of the shadows that, um, pretty much, besides the just straight up matte ones that they have, every, every one of them are shimmery. But this is more of a metallic, and um, I'm just applying this over the e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow base, just the $1 base. So that's what I have it over, but you can see it's very metallic and very shimmery. It's very pretty. Um, I'll compare it to a couple of their other shades just for reference. I'm going to compare it to um, Hourglass Beige, which is the same as um, Iced Latte in the United States. I just got this one from overseas before they were over here in the U.S. So Hourglass Beige, I'll show you a swatch of it next to that so you can kind of see the difference. 
see the hourglass beige is much lighter but they're they're kind of the same type of um, shimmer quality so if you have you know the hourglass beige or the ice latte you're going to have the same effect they're a metallic -y, shimmery color this one just has a lot more I'd say like a peach tone to it so I really like those that is for the hourglass beige all right and then the second shade that came in the collection is uh, another one of their 24-hour infallible shades and this one is in pampered and precious and this is just a beautiful metallic silver it's very 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 pretty I love this one a lot so here's what it looks like in the pan and I'll swatch it for you here so you can see it on my hand very metallic very very metallic and this is the swatch here so it's got a lot a lot more of a, like a blue tone to it and then what I'm going to swap next to it swatch next to it is going to be their um, I think it's called flashback silver or liquid diamonds as it's called in the United States I just bought these overseas so flashback silver is here here it is swatched on the finger now this one does have it's the same kind of color family but this one has more of like a um, uh, purple tone to it so can you see the difference here here is the flashback silver or liquid diamond and then this is the what is this called primped and precious so it has more of the gray so you can see the difference in the two there in the lighting so they are different than anything that they've had in any of the collections that have come out thus far um, you know, I really, really love these shades. These are probably some of my favorite eyeshadows. I got so excited when I saw that there was a um, new collection of these coming out. I know it's only two shades, but hey, two is better than none at all. So um, I hope that you get your hands on these if you like them. Um, let me know what your thoughts are on these shades if you like them. Um, again, with pretty much any of the infallible shadows, I find that they apply best with my finger. Um, one of my favorite ones is the um, Golden Emerald, or Emerald LeMay, as it was released over in, you know, everywhere but the United States, pretty much. Um, it's just a beautiful golden green, but I love to put a dark brown and then just kind of tap this on the center lid, and it's just beautiful. So these infallible shades are lovely. Like, I cannot say enough good things about them. I know a lot of people don't like them, but they're probably one of my favorites. Like, I think I have like 30 of them in my drawer here, but they keep coming out with them I'm gonna keep buying them <laughs> so anyway just wanted to share these with you hope you get a chance to check out the collection sorry that the camera's shaking cuz my um, washing machine is on the other wall in the other room and it's on spin cycle <laughs> so if it looks like there's a earthquake happening it's just my washing machine um, anyway thank you for watching this video please subscribe if you're new and make sure you check out my contest giveaway thingies that I've got going on because they're ending really soon so um, I've got some glitter from Lit Cosmetics that I'm giving away, a little glitter set. I've got um, the Elf um, collection, the Villains collection from the Evil Queen, I believe it was. And um, I've got something else I'm giving away, and I can't even remember. Oh, well, check out my videos if you would like to enter the giveaways. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.